Hello everyone and welcome back to Kino Cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some agrarian skies. Look at this. These cocoa beans are growing like flipping wildfire. I don't know if it's actually, it might be because we're in a jungle biome. We are. That might be what's causing these to grow pretty darn fast. We do have an awful lot of them. Look at this. I've even planted them on this side, which is kind of what I didn't want to do because when I break these, I have a fear they might, some of them might fall off the edge. But we're getting to flipping many of them. We might as well. Is this one done? I don't know. Maybe. Probably. Look at all these. All flipping fully grown. We're going to have a ton of cocoa beans. I don't actually think we've got any wheat yet, which is uh, kind of annoying. We should probably get some wheat so we can make some cookies because that would be a nice source of food. We can make, uh, what is it? How do you make cookies? You get eight cookies for every one cocoa beans. We could make like so many cookies. <laughs> It'd be ridiculous. If we could just get a little wheat farm going, we could make so many cookies. If only. So what I want to do with this episode is what I said I was going to do in the last episode. Surprise, surprise. And I want to start making a little like farm sort of area over here. Now you can see I've put some cobblestone down where I want these things to go. The reason I put cobblestone down is because for the moment anyway, dirt's pretty, pretty precious. We've got 50. And that's because I've been sat here sieving through some stuff. And once it's finished sieving... Uh, like every time I finish sowing some, I'll check and see if the tree's grown. And if the tree's grown, I'll go grab my shears, which I have put in here. This is actually my second set of shears. Uh, so I made another one since last episode. The last pair broke. And I'll come down, I'll shear all the leaves off, take down the tree, plant a new one, put them all in here, get a load of dirt, and put it in here. So we've got 50 dirt now, which is uh, quite a lot. It's a nice amount of dirt. And what I want to do is I want to set up a little area to expand this. Because what we can do is we can actually cut these down like that, replant them, and they'll grow three high which is pretty cool. So we can get loads of our raspberries and mulberries and blueberries and every other type of berry in the world that we could ever want. And uh, also we've got the texture pack, by the way. These all look kind of nice as facts now, these barrels and the sieves. Uh, I also graded these. The textures for this ex, ex nihilo mod are pretty big. Like, I think it's like in here, there's this massive, uh, like, blob of glue. that Actually, actually, this chest looks a bit off. It's sort of, like, <laughs> leaning over the edge of the squares there. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty big. Uh, we've got quite a few more ingots since last episode. We've got quite a few stuff. I think we've got less iron because I've been using it for shears, but that's about it. This stuff says pulverized, but it's not from thermal expansion, so we can't just cook it straight up. You still need four of them. For example, if I get these four copper, I can actually make this into a block, which we can then cook in here into a copper ingot, which is kind of nice. You also see there's a bit of a texture problem here. I'll try and get that fixed uh, pretty soon. I'm not sure what's wrong with that, but uh, it might be gone by next episode. Maybe, if I get back to it. Okay, what I want to do this episode is this stuff over here. So, I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, I, kind of, I want a place to grow my trees, uh, but I also want a place to grow animals and grow crops. And trees take up quite a lot of space. So what I think I might do is I think I might set this area over here for plants and crops and animals and stuff. And then I think I might set another little platform, pretty much, pretty similar maybe, over this side for trees. Because trees only need one square of dirt, unless it's a jungle tree, of course. But um, yeah, I think I'll do that in another episode, and I think I'll do trees over that side. Or maybe even between episodes, you don't need to see me build a massive platform. Now, hmm. I've put some torches down, just some mobs that spawn overnight, because I've been uh, doing this for a few nights now. I've, I think I've died twice since last episode, taking our total up to something like 16 deaths. Um, in total, which is uh, not the best, but it's fine. This is, uh, I think, a 15 by 15 platform. Yeah, I think I made it 15 by 15. So what I think I might do is I intend to have this at some point, like, completely covered in dirt. But, oh, I don't know. Okay, I kind of want a big area for some animals. I want some animals to come and, like, live here. So what I might do is, is that in a big enough area? How have we got from here? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, but I also want to expand this thing over here, This um, all these guys. So what I might do is I think I'll plant my other grass seed over here so all this stuff grows, hopefully. And then what I think I might do is just like... Hmm, let's plant the grass seed. Let's plant the grass seed and see what happens. So I also want to get some wheat growing. If I can get some wheat growing, I can make so many cookies. And we should never be hungry again, which will be flipping awesome. So where did I put that grass seed? It's there. It's been retextured, and that's why I can't find it. Okay, let's go and plant this grass seed, which should just plant one piece of grass. But that should spread uh, throughout to the rest of them. I could have tried dra dra dragging it over from this one to that one, but uh, that just takes time. We didn't have that much dirt. 50 seems like a lot, but when you try to put it down, it's not actually that much. While I'm waiting for that spread, also a top tip, which uh, someone told me in the comments, so thank you if you were that person. If we, uh, if you have enough zombie brains, you can actually use zombie brains to make dirt as well. Uh, I don't have enough, I've only got, oh yeah, I do actually have eight, so let's just throw it in here. You can throw eight zombie brains in there, actually it looks like it might be a bit more than eight. ten for zombie brains, as opposed to eight for everything else. So if you have, uh, can, we, can we mix and match, is that a thing? No, oh we can, okay, so mix and matching works. I'm sure it didn't work with saplings before, but apparently it does. So there we go. If you put 10 of something in there, if you use zombie brains, 
then uh, you can do zombie runs as well. You can't do cocoa beans, which is a bit of a shame. I was going to try to use cocoa beans to get it, but uh, apparently not. Now, how are we doing for grass? Eh, it's doing okay. Let's get some bone meal and let's try get some normal seeds over on this thing over here. So, can we get any... We're getting some nice other seeds, which is cool, but I kind of just want the, the default seeds. What have we got? We've got onion seeds and scallion seeds? Why not? Who doesn't love a good scallion? Let's make some more of these. Oh yeah, also, I've been going through a lot of dust since last episode because I'm after a redstone. And I don't know if they've changed like the frequency or something, but we've been getting, I've got six redstone now, two glowstone and a blaze powder, which is uh, flipping ridiculous. So if you're going to go through stuff, I think going through gravel is probably going to get you more like uh, ingots and irons and metals and stuff. Whereas if you go through, if you take it down from, to, from gravel to sand into dust, you're more likely to get some of the more precious stuff like uh, redstone and glowstone and blaze powder, which is pretty nice. So, it does mean we can make some kind of cool machines in the future. Ooh, a walnut sapling. Is this... Hmm. Is this a tree we had before? I don't think it is. I think we've got a walnut sapling in here somewhere, haven't we? Uh, oh, no, we've got a papaya sapling. Hmm, okay. Well, I kind of want default seeds, so... Please? Still the same, okay. Do, 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 do. We've got another type of seed. What have we got now? Radish. We're going to have so much stuff, but we're just not going to have any default wheat. Default wheat is all I'm after. Come okay, on. Nope, how's that doing? That's spreading quite nicely. Really? Wow, we got quite a lot of stuff there. What do we get? Artichoke, tea seeds, pineapple seeds. Soybeans. <laughs> Look at this. We've got a flipping ridic like, ridiculous amount of stuff. But I just, I kind of want wheat. <laughs> Give me some normal seeds. Ooh. A wild grape. Can we, uh... Can we harvest this? Or what? how do we... I don't know. We'll just, <laughs> I'll leave it there. I'll go mess around on this one. See if this one gives us anything. We've got a nice little 4x4 four four section of grass. Anything? Ooh. Wild... Rutabaga? <laughs> Probably said that wrong. <laughs> Flipping egg. Uh, why not? Pea seeds or something. Plum seeds, something else. Last try, because I'm fed up of wasting precious bone meal on this. More zucchini seeds. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it seems like what we're going to have to do is just plant an absolute ton of seeds and see what we get. So, we'll come back to this tree in a second, because we do want more dirt. Let's take you and you, because you, you weren't doing anything anyway. Yeah, you, you weren't doing no. Let's make a little sort of section over here for stuff to grow in. So... Uh, I'll put it here. Let's put you like that. And I'm pretty sure if we have, say... Oh, wow, wow, thing, thing. I was going to say we can have a block of water in the middle and then um, dirt around it, but we don't have enough dirt. So, let's harvest this tree using our shears. Take you down. And then I think we'll sleep for the night. Uh, I, was, I went over there uh, a few minutes ago. You can see I died over there uh, not so long ago. But I'm pretty sure creepers can't actually hurt me. Like, I was over there and a creeper blew up right next to me. And it didn't kill me, which was quite surprising. So we might have to go check that out and see if that's actually a thing. Because if it is, I'm going to be a lot less scared of going over onto the platform to try and get bones and stuff. Because that's kind of what we need. We're kind of in demand of bones more than anything else. Because we need this bone meal to grow all our stuffs. Uh, we did get another, like, cactus on top of this. But an enderman came and took it, which is a bit harsh. But there you go. Right, let's fill you up. Oh, our zombie brains turned into some, ni into some nice dirt over there. Oh, good stuff. Let's fill you guys in. There we go. Cut the tree down and put another one down. So how much do we have our axe still? We do. Do we have any food? Food. I'm going to die, aren't I? I'm just going to die pretty soon. Gosh, I can't believe we didn't get any normal seeds from that. That is flipping ridiculous. I'm going to have to dump all my stuff into an inventory actually before I die because I do not want it to spray everywhere. There's going to be so many seeds all over the place if I do that. Okay, there we go. Should have probably used my shears there, but oh well. Let's just dump as much as we can into random inventories, because why not? And then we'll just sort of jump and spin and run about. Because, you know, I wonder if we can just like put ourselves in the lava. Does that work? I think the rules are don't jump off the edge, so it doesn't say anything about... <laughs> oh, oh no, we lose our... Oh, we didn't get the head. That's the only... Ah! We can't keep accurate track of our of our deaths now. We have... Oh, look, there's our heads. We have 15-ish deaths. Ish is a technical term meaning thereabouts. <laughs> Look, you can see I died, I starved to death, I was slain by a spider, and I tried to swim in lava. That's uh, that's pretty much the gist of what's happened since last episode. Let's try let's try this. We might die again, but let me see if Let's see that was that was an extremely weak for a, I don't know, maybe not, but 
That seemed to be an extremely weak creeper explosion on... Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, never mind. We can definitely die from creeper explosions. Proven fact. I'm going to go... Did that guy have any bones? No, but I'll go get the head anyway, because the head's always nice to have. Oh, oh, you did. Yeah, look at this. Hopefully by the end of the series, we'll have a nice amount of bones. And hopefully that lava death there will be the only one that didn't actually count. So we can just add one to the uh, to the total. Okay, let's see. Let's go over here. I'm just gonna like corner that off, corner that off, and there. Um, actually, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's make that the center there, and then let's put stuff around that just to make it look a little nicer. Because what's Minecraft if not making things look really nice? So I'll put you there, there, and there, and then when time when the time comes, we'll put another strip down there. Okay, so we're going to need a bucket. Now, I think the um, the buckets from Ex Nihilo only last once, maybe. So, we don't actually have a bucket, but we can make one, I believe, using all of the clay that we've got that I have put in here. There we go. So, I think we need to break this clay into clay balls. And then, do we craft these into something like that? Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, and I think we just cook this guy up in there, and that should give us a clay bucket that we can transfer water with. We'll put some water over there. Where is our hoe? Our hoe is... Okay, we're going to make a new hoe, apparently. I don't think we can make a stone one, so I'll make another wooden hoe. Why not? Take you. Wooden hoe. Okay, we'll take some water. Ta-da. And uh, we'll see. I think I think the deal is that it doesn't get used up when we use water. So yeah, we, we get to keep the bucket. But I think there's a chance when you're carrying lava that you do actually use up the bucket uh, when you're moving stuff. So let's haul this ground. And then we can start planting all of our random exotic seeds that we've managed to acquire from all these places. Let's go grab those. That grass over there is spreading nicely. We didn't put a sapling down over there, which is not good. Because it means we're not going to get another tree. Which limits our dirt production. So let's plant you there. Hoping this cactus grows sometime soon. We don't really have a use for cactus, actually, but it'd be nice to have. It'd be nice to have. Why not? Okay, is that pretty much all of our seeds? Almost. Just organize these inventories. Take you. And do we have any more? Just sort of dot around. Oh, we got another grass seed. I don't even know. Okay. That's kind of cool. I don't think we can plant these, but... Oh, look, we can eat them. Okay. Why not? Let's eat them. Let's see if we can fill up our health. No. <laughs> not even close. Well, kind of close, but not really even close. <laughs> if you ever think you can fill up your health in this mod pack, just assume you can't. Look at that, we've got berries. We can fill up our health. We have done it. We can sprint. Probably shouldn't, but we can. Right. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of about this mod is that what the it doesn't seem to work quite well with the, the whale. Is it the whaler mod? Or maybe uh, any eye tooltips. Uh, it doesn't like work very well. It still tells you the growth percentage, but it doesn't tell you what it is. It just says tile.crop.name, which yeah, we'll get used to it. It'll be a surprise. We'll never know what's coming. And for some reason, we have a massive amount of um, amber. We've got 14 amber in our inventories. Where did we get that? Did I just pull it out of a chest somewhere? There we go. Look at all that. Look at all this stuff. That's already not even grown. Just not even a little bit. Let's see. Can we, like, fully grow something? Like, 50? Mature. There we go. Apparently, <laughs> I would have never guessed that that was mature. Look at that. Okay, so we can plant down three more of these. Three more scallions. And we've got some scallion that we can eat. But we're full on hunger. Wow, look at that. I think that's the first time ever that we've uh, been full on hunger. There we go. So it seems that this, uh, the Pam's food mod just takes two bone meal to grow everything, it would seem. So let's see, we've got two left. Can we grow this? 50% amateur. Yep, yeah, that seems about right. So tea leaves. Ooh, what can we use tea leaves for? And it looks like you get three back from everyone. So we could probably expand this pretty quickly, which is kind of nice. I'm hoping some animals spawn over here. I think um, a good thing to do would probably put some fences around there, but uh, we'll do that another time. <laughs> okay. Let's see, what can we use tea leaves for? Uh, apparently we can craft, is that true? Anything, anything, can we craft it back into its seed? Oh, that's kind of cool. We can craft it into other seeds. We can, ooh, we can smelt it into a cup of tea. Oh, we need a good cuppa, guys. We need a good cuppa, or two. Apparently, somewhere along the lines, we managed to get a cup. <laughs> so there you go, guys. If you want to make millions uh, IRL, just, uh, just smelt tea leaves. Take them a tea oven and just smelt tea leaves. And you'll get a nice brew. Oh, look at that. It's steaming. Oh, I can smell it from here. It smells beautiful. Nice British cup of tea. There we go. Okay. So, doing kind of well. We still need to set up a house because we don't have a single house at the minute. 
I'm kind of hoping animals spawn over here. Not 100% though. Um, also, we're going to need some more skeletons at some point. I do want to make some machines. I was looking at the block placer here, you can see. Because uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to just place... Um, I wanted to like fill it with cobblestone. Or with gravel even. So I can just fill it with it. It'll just place blocks below it. And I can just sit there holding down my button. And uh, break them with my hammer instead of having to uh, like break it. Find the new one, put it down, switch back to my hammer, break it, switch back, and do that. I'd rather just fill it into a block placer. But it's pretty hard to make. We need dispensers, which are uh, not too bad, I guess, with redstone. Nothing's really too bad apart from the plastic sheets, which require raw plastic, and uh, which also require rubber bars, and we don't have any source of rubber. And uh, I don't know of a way of getting balls of glue apart from this. So I don't know if that's really on the menu. We'll probably have to stick with what we've got at the minute. Uh, I said I was going to make a pulverizer now. I'm not too sure. Hmm... I don't know. I'm pretty sure the pulverizer does exactly what I've just been doing. So the pr I think the pulverizer will do the same job as hammer. So if we put like cobblestone into it, I actually I don't know. Putting cobblestone in the pulverizer makes sand, doesn't it? Let's have a look. Where's sand? I think pulverized cobblestone makes sand. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, apparently they changed it. It used to make sand, I think. Yeah, because in all my other series, I've been putting uh, cobblestone in a generator in a pulverizer next to a furnace and getting sand, getting glass out. But apparently they changed it. And then you can use, yeah, okay. So basically this does the same thing and then we can put that in there, I'm guessing, and get, yeah, okay. So a pulverizer could do the job for us, which is kind of nice, actually. What do we need to make a pulverizer? We would, of course, need a source of power, but a pulverizer would be very nice. So flint, copper, this thing, which we can make now. I think, guys, we might actually be able to pull off a pulverizer. Episode 8, we started with absolutely nothing. Uh, and now, I don't think we're going to die this episode. Actually, we, we died from the creep. But I don't think we're going to die of starvation this episode, which is pretty cool. And maybe, maybe never again. <gasps> Look at this. We've got cats. Oh, my. Oh, fishing rod. I want to tame the cat. Where's my fishing rod? We need a fish. Fish, fish, fish. I want the cat. I don't think cats are really useful, to be honest. But having one is got to be nice. It's got to be good for you. Come on. I think we should also try deepening this pool. I might, like, off episode, just sort of, like, go there with a pickaxe and just lower it. Because I think just lowering it would make it a lot easier to fish in. Come on. See, I don't know if that's working or not. If that's, is, is that, like, a visual glitch, or is that, like, just bad? <laughs> Come on. That might have worked. Now he's got to wait for it to bob. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, forget this. We'll try. Oh, I don't think. The cat's not going to walk off the edge, is it? The cat's, aren't that, the cat's not that silly. Okay, so we'll just kind of, maybe between episodes, I'll try and fish and try and get that cat to be our friend. we got a cat. I love it. Okay. Uh, what were we doing? <laughs> I completely forgot what we were doing. I think I'm supposed to break this, yeah, and get uh, food. Which is nice. Can we use this for anything? Ah, oh, we can make it into seeds. I am making grape seeds. Let's go plant some more grapes. You can go down there. That is pretty cool, actually. So we've got more grapes now. And we've got more tea planting, which is nice. We've got raspberries. Oh, my God, guys. Look at all this. We've got so much food. We're, I actually don't think we... I actually think we might not die again this series due to starvation. I might be wrong. Don't get me wrong. Let's see how well these guys are doing over here. But we might actually not die of starvation. So it looks like... They're all doing super well on 0%, which is great. Uh, but uh, I think they'll grow. I think they'll grow. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, pulverizer. Okay, pulverizer. So, piston is cobblestone, iron, redstone, and wood. Okay, cobblestone. I think we've got some in this chest. We do wood, iron, and redstone. Okay. Let's see. Is he going to let us shift click that in? No, because we don't have planks. Okay. Oh, look, we can make four pistons. We're just rolling in it. We could make, like, a piston door just to, just to waste redstone. Right. Uh, oh, glass. We don't have any glass. Okay. Glass, we're going to need one, two, three, four of. So let's get the hammer out and smash you down into gravel and then into glass. Oh, well, into sand and into glass. Thank you. Plus tree grows again. We can expand that little farm we've got. And actually, I might go try putting some uh, stuff down over there, some bone meal down on that big patch of uh, grass and see if we can get some some uh, normal seeds again because normal seeds would be perfect so I'll let that smell up let's take some bone meal that we don't have very much of actually uh, oh god look at this nine I'll try five and see if we get anything okay I can see the cat walking all over my crops oh my god look at all this stuff see now this is the good thing about having a massive area of grass you get a load of stuff 
Did we actually get some seeds? Oh no, we didn't. We just got a lot of crud from Pam's stuff. But look how much food we're getting. Oh my god. I think we might have to make a mob spawner a priority one, like an auto mob killer that uh, kills mobs and gets them. Uh, actually, we could do that. We could do it with a grind. Oh my god, cotton. Cotton is amazing because we can use cotton for. Oh, I thought we could use cotton for string, but apparently not. <laughs> okay. We've got a lot of stuff. Spice leaf, dragon fruit sapling. I've actually had a dragon fruit, like IRL. Of dragon fruit. Sell it in Morrison's. Go check it out. Given on caffeine, sponsored by Morrison's. You heard it here first, guys. They're not really a sponsor. But if they wanted to be, I would, uh, well, we'd have to talk it through first. I'd have to see how many free dragon fruits I get. If I get free dragon fruits, then I might be interested in Morrison's. But otherwise, get your game together. Come on, get your acting. Uh, hopefully this guy doesn't die. God, I'm, I'm really hoping he doesn't die. I think we will get more animals. Judging by the fact that we, I think we've got a cat because we're in a jungle biome. Why are we in a jungle biome? I like it because we get like, um, uh, gold. I like it because we get like, this stuff goes really fast. I think that's what's causing it. But I'm not a huge fan of like the lack of farm animals. I'm hoping that doesn't restrict us in any way. Oh, really? We need one more piece of, oh, oh wait. Oh, we need something, a little bit more iron. A little bit more iron. Do we have, do we have the means? What what's iron? I don't even know what which one of these is iron. We got one, one. Ah, oh, oh no, wait. Yep, yeah, no, that's uh, that's aluminium. Oh, we were so close. We were so close to the iron. Okay, guys. Well, I think I'm going to episode there. Next episode, we will make a pulverizer, or maybe I'll look into it and see if it's even worth making. I think it is. I think if we can get something that automatically does this for me, like I can just like put. Uh, what I'll do is I'll sit here with my hammer and hammer this straight out, so it just turns into gravel straight away, like this. And then once I've got a couple of stacks, we can just throw it in a pulverizer, have that turn into sand, throw it back into the pulverizer, turn it into dust. And then I think we still have to do the sieving by hand, maybe. But uh, we'll, I might look into making getting some autonomous activators as well to sort of set that up. Let's have a look. Autonomous activator. That's actually really easy to make. We could probably make one of those right now. And uh, I want to, oh, I so badly want to know. But uh, let's do it. Let's do it. You know, why not? I want to see if I can put stuff in an autonomous activator and if it'll just sort of like right click and sift through it. That would be the coolest thing ever. So, autonomous activator, we need tin ingots and that. Okay, so let's take two tin. There's probably someone in the comment section screaming at me right now saying that this will not work. You're a terrible person, Isaac. Why would you even try this? Because I'm curious. I want to know. Does it work? <laughs> We've made one. We've made an autonomous activator. Now, Oh, we, we, how do we make a crescent hammer? I would like to turn this around. I think we can do it by just like placing it down the right way, but uh, three iron and a tin. We don't have that. So <laughs> back to the pickaxe. Let's try this again. And uh, maybe this time I'll put it down the right way around. The good thing is that these guys don't actually like get broken like industry craft two machines do. So we'll take you and what I'll do is I will try to put it down like this. So if I do this that is wow okay what about if what about if 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 i put it down just facing it because i think all you gotta do is right click on the sieve you don't have to right click on the top of the sieve do you so let's try putting it down in place of this guy so if we break you like this my mouse is moving all over the place i can hear guys shooting at me which is not good but if i place it down there and i put say gravel in oh look at this Look at this! Oh, forget the pulverizer. Look at this. Now, I want to know. It should pull it straight back into its inventory. And then... Oh, my God. What can I see over there? I can just see my death point. It's just a bit weird. Uh, oh, what did that do? What the heck did that do? <laughs> did it dump it on the floor somewhere? Or... It didn't put it in there. We definitely should have got something. We can't do it with that. Do we have any gravel left? Really? No gravel? Let's drink our cup of tea. Let's drink one of these cups just to end the episode. <sighs> okay. Let's... I just really want to try... <laughs> I, want, I want to see what... I want this to work. Guys, I really want this to work. If this works, then it will make our time so much easier. It, it looks like it works, but then it also looks like it doesn't work. So it puts it in there. It will right-click it. It'll sift through it. And then does it try to give the stuff to me? Is that what it tries to do? It's pretty slow. <laughs> <laughs> But, oh look, okay, so it just spits it out. Okay. So, we're going to need a vacuum hopper. Now, <laughs> vacuum hopper is actually, do we have, do we have a vacuum hopper? Oh, we do. Okay, whew. Vacuum hopper. Uh, obsidian, <laughs> ender pearl, and a hopper. 
Ender Pearl, not too hard. Hopper, not too hard. Obsidian. Ooh. Ooh, that's. That's. Oh, hmm. I wonder. Actually, how do we make an igneous extruder? We can probably do that. If we make an igneous extruder, we can just put a bucket of lava and a bucket of water in there. It'll give us a piece of obsidian. And then if we put, get a piece of obsidian, we kill an enderman, get an ender pearl, and get ourselves a vacuum hopper. We can put a vacuum hopper anywhere we want. Put some uh, item ducts going back. And then we could just have this going. We could just have this item... Uh, back vacuum hoppers, by the way, are just like normal hoppers where they suck stuff in, but they do it from a distance. So they have like an area of effect where they can just pull items that are sat on the floor, which is pretty cool. So we could just have this. I could just put like a stack... I could sit here... Get stacks and stacks of gravel, throw them into there, it'll just sift through all of them, spit the stuff out on the floor, the vacuum hopper will take that stuff, put it into a chest, and then when we come back on, we could, well, we'd have to put, well, what if we can get chunk loaders? I think we can. Oh, God. Shots fired. I don't know, I bet I just clicked something horrible, actually, there, but chunk loaders, oh, we can as well. Oh, my God, this is a bit expensive. Actually, really expensive, because we need diamonds. But uh, I don't think we need chunk loaders. If I just sort of, like, sat in a corner, maybe, I've already died a few times, actually, but... Um, we could we could do this. We could have stuff automated now, which is uh, pretty cool. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. I said I was going to end the episode like 10 minutes ago now, and I still haven't done it. So if you did enjoy the video, be sure to like it. It really helps out a lot. And leave a comment telling me what you think of the series, what you think I should do. If you think I'm the worst person in the world for playing this, I don't know. Tell me what you think. And I will see you guys next time.